Hi, my name is Anand Kapoor and I'm the founder and director at Nico Nanobubble India company. We have developed our proprietary nanobubble technology. One of the biggest challenges that made us have a lot of sleepless nights are how do you make something so small and make sure the components do justify it and at the same time make it more enhanced and available to the market and especially to the industry where it can make changes. We acquired three 3D printers from Form Labs with the help of Philips machine tools and they just did not help us in acquiring the technology and also making sure in hand holding us in solving and using these printers to make our parts and our components and also the unibody design. We use three FormLab printers, FormLab PL, FormLab C, FormLab C1. A developing a nanobubble unibody part required SLA printing to for intricate high grade performance. We use uh, FormLab 3 SLA printer with clear resin to visualize through flow within the generator. Transparency was very crucial for uh, this performance. Uh, must be SLA printer. Like my design requirements, our production shifted to SLS printers. We selected nylon 12 uh, material for its durability and chemical compatibility. Uh, this uh, machine, this printer, uh, was printed layer by layer and fuels you test that spark and recycle and cinder powder. And the fuse blood provide a very beautiful, uh, smooth, semi finish flows. Uh, this integrates workflow between SLA and SLS printers uh, for production and enabling the creation of uh, robust, high performance components for renewable machines. By combining SLA for prototyping and SLA for final production, we achieve faster development cycles and mass flow. So using these bubbles, we are also looking at some futuristic applications which will also include major applications like biotechnology, medical technology, sustainable tech solutions as well. Having said that, I would also like to emphasize on how small these bubbles are in comparison to day-to-day -day life. Uh, if you look at a strand of hair, a nano bubble at a measurement size of 200 nanometers is at least 400 times smaller than a single strand of hair. And if you look at your skin pores, it's at least 250 times smaller than a single skin pore uh, on the skin available. And most importantly, if you look at the red blood cells inside the human body, a nano bubble is at least 80 to 90 times smaller than the red blood cell inside the human body itself. Also to add Philips machine tools, especially the after-sales service team, we had bothered them at night, we had bothered them on holidays, we had bothered them on public holidays as well. But the answer was never no, they always got back to us with the problems we were facing. In fact, the best part was that they were always available on our communications group as well. Even though they were not physically available, we always used to get our solutions. Thank you Philips machine tools, you have played a wonderful role over here. And the kudos definitely goes to you guys in helping us develop this technology, especially the nanobubble technology, which is part of the nanotechnology ecosystem in India, for India, and also making sure that these products are manufactured in India for the global markets.